even when I'm down like right now, my mind still ran into these project things. This big anvil was made and dedicated to all the blacksmiths of the world. When I was a little girl, Dad would shine a flashlight on the anvil, and he would say, um, when it, one day I'm going to build the world's largest anvil. Hey folks, we're in Harlan County in the Pine Mountain community of Bledsoe, Kentucky. And you may remember this anvil from our biggest video, which featured certainly our most beloved personality we ever had in a video, J.D. Napier, the man who made it. This is the world's largest working anvil. That's right, you could forge on it right now if you wanted to. It's solid all the way through, and it's a working anvil. Uh, J.D. also... Uh, among the many things he made, he made this water wheel, which is a beautiful work of art. Well, J.D. is having some uh, major health issues, and uh, what we'd like to ask you folks to send him some cards and letters, let him know uh, j just how special he is to us all, and uh, drop him a line. He, I know he will appreciate it. Uh, he, he, is, he is so appreciative of all the views the video we did of him talking about his anvil has. And he is amazed at the wonderful comments you guys made on that video. So if you can let him hear from you, we will pin the, informa we will pin the contact information for him in the comment section of this video. And we will put it in the information section of this video. Now, we did two videos with him, the, the one on the anvil that the, the people just had such amazing response to, and we did another video sitting on front porch talking to him. We will put at the end of this video links to both of those so you can visit with J.D. Now, we're going to go in and visit with the Appalachian blacksmith, J.D. Napier, and talk to him for a few minutes. And uh, please keep him in your thoughts and prayers. And... Right here is the man himself, the Appalachian blacksmith, J.D. Napier, the man who made the world's largest working anvil. J.D., how you feeling? How you doing with your health? We know well, you've had some we, issues. We getting, we improving a little bit each and every day, but it's slow. <laughs> uh, I want it to be a little faster so I can get back to the forge and start smithing again, you know. Start making some stuff, you know. But now, right now, it's just going slow. Uh, I can take about five steps, and that's about it, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you're looking good. Your color looks good. And well, thank you. You're doing better. Doing right. better. And you know, the first video we did with you uh, about the anvil, it's got well over six hundred thousand views. It, it will be, I know, uh, our first million view video ah, in a little yeah. while. That'll be great. <laughs> Look at that smile. Great. Well, it, it's you that did it. You know, we've we've did what 300 some 500 we did a few hundred videos <laughs> we've did a few hundred videos and yours is only one that's got over 600,000 views so i think that's got a lot to do with you yes. jd yeah praise the lord You're yeah so, uh the comments you got uh the comments you got uh, on the uh video incredible you had people from belgium from from uh uh England, I think from Germany, I think that I believe there's a guy from Russia. I believe I'm not sure. I believe a couple of guys come here from uh, wow. Louisiana. Yeah, Louisiana. Yes. Yeah. Louisiana, oh. and uh, uh, yeah, it, it's just uh, so well received. People and the comments are so so nice. People really seen what 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 kind of man you was and really appreciated it and made uh, and you know there's blacksmiths from Europe that commented in their kinship to you and their brotherhood to you. Right. And it's, it's just amazing. I hope you realize how, how much, you know, all over the world, you're, you're respected and loved by folks. Right. And I believe some folks will probably send you some cards, you know, and you know. Right. <laughs> say hello. Well, now, what, what we uh, actually want to do sometime is just say, uh, this big anvil was made and dedicated to all the blacksmiths of the world. Oh, yeah. You do? Well, we will say that right here, right now, that you've dedicated that anvil to all the blacksmiths. All the blacksmiths of the world, yeah. Their spirit is, uh, the spirits of all the blacksmiths of the world is in that anvil. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's good, that's good. And uh, we appreciate so many, so many things you've done over the years. Your son-in-law was telling me outside when I was talking to him that you, ever since he knew you, you've had a project going. You oh, was doing yeah. something. yeah, yeah. 
but we're really, really uh, happy to hear that you're feeling feeling uh, some better with your health, because we know you've had some serious uh, issues with it and wasn't feeling good for a while. Yeah, I'm feeling plum bad. Yeah. <laughs> your daughter told us you had a rough September, but uh, it's October now and you're doing better. <laughs> yeah, doing right. a little better. Yeah, yeah. Well, we yeah. love you, JD. You're you're my son sent word you know he he's never met you but me and him set up all night editing that first video because I, i'd shot it with two cameras before i knew exactly what i was doing with two cameras right. so it took a little it took two people to edit it right. and he said after setting up and listening to to jd uh there and working on that video said i feel like i knew him so i feel like i grew up with him How he's about that? such a wonderful personality and well, he said I like to tell that. you yeah he said uh, to send his best wishes to you yeah. and he's praying for you you tell him I said thanks, buddy. Thanks and, for a million. Yeah. Oh, well, well, you just did. He'll yeah. be watching this. You just thanked yeah. him. Yeah. And, and uh, there, there's going to there's be people watch this video and be praying for you. And, you know, I believe in the power of prayer. And you're going to have a lot of folks watch this oh, all over the world. Yeah. going to yeah. pray for you. Right, right. But uh, uh, we love you and we really appreciate that Don, you. get that little thing over there. got that little heart in it, the metal heart. And show them that. I don't think I ever showed them that. Did I ever show you the little hearts I've done? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think I've ever showed that to you. Sure don't. Oh, so I see, I'll start out like that right there. They start out like this. Right. Then we shape them like that. Let's see. There's one start of the fork. I mean the heart. There's another. Look at that. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. And what we do is put this on it, you know. Oh. Rivet it on there. Yeah. And make a bend in it. Yeah. Oh. And you can see I've got quite a few of them made up. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's an unfinished project, right, Dad? Uh, <laughs> an unfinished project, right? Yeah, I'm finished, yeah. He loves, you can tell he loves There's one work. a little bit bigger. And it's done flattened out, ready for the holes to put the rivets wow. in, you know. And we'll put a one like that on it, a little bit bigger. Now, also, we'll heat this right here and make a twist in it. Yeah. And heat it down here and make two twists in it. You know, the one that's big like that long, we'll make two twists in it, you know. So, But now we want to go to this size right here a little bit later down the road. Wow. Look at that. A little heavier. Yeah, and that will start it out the same way I showed you the little one started out. You know, the wow. flat wow. piece of metal. Now did you make did you make the spoon? Uh no, no, Is this, this some I oh, bought because okay. I liked how they was bent. Yeah. And we were wanting so to So you want to get up to this size. Pattern. Yeah, we was wanting to use them as a pattern. Wow. And of course, I gave you one of these, I yes, think. Yes, I yes. love that. I have yeah. it in my kitchen. I put my aprons on this and towels. <laughs> I love it. Now, there's a little coffee scoop I made years ago. Oh. And that's solid copper. It is. <laughs> Your mind's always on doing something, ain't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mind yes. don't work. Even when I'm down like right now, my mind's still right into these project things. So you got nerves less laid back, uh -huh. more straighter, you know. Yeah. So we just, but now these are not real hard. You can take them and bend them in kind of any shape you want to, you know. Yeah, yeah. So if you don't get the right shape on this that to model add either, then you can re your model. Re yeah. bend it. Now, yeah, it's this kind is, of a model. You came up with this hearts. Right. That is so nice. Uh, the heart I showed you the first step of that. Let's first see. step. Well, it's Is a fork. This? Right okay. there's one twisted. And we got some in here not twisted. So it looks like this, and then you turn it into the heart. Turn right? it into a heart, yeah. Wow. That's just amazing. We yes. appreciate you so much. Taking time to show us this stuff. Are they every time you're not thinking about making something? So even sitting here, you're thinking what you could make. Buddy, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I yeah. just love you, J.D. Yeah, even, even, <laughs> even when my daughter's are here, my mind's continually going on something. Wow, that's, that that is, that's good. Right now, every one of these is sold if I just get 
and start feeling good enough to put them together. Yeah. I mean, they're <laughs> done sold, you know. Oh, yes. Dad, you told them the vision of um, the anvil whenever I was a little girl. Um, Dad used to, he's a collector of anvils, and uh, when I was a little girl, Dad would shine a flashlight on the anvil, and he would say, um, when it, one day I'm going to build the world's largest anvil, and so he kind of dreamed it up. Um, so we joke, and I say, Dad, you're like Joseph in the Bible. You're the man of many dreams. <laughs> uh, but that's kind of how the, the vision of the anvil started, is whenever I was little, he would shine a flashlight, and he'd say, one day I'm going to make that anvil. You see that shadow, how big it is? Uh -huh. And he dreamed it up, and it came to fruition. Wow. 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 Yep, so. I love that. <laughs> I love that story. I'm going to tell that. you something. You're it's, the best example of a Harlan County gentleman and a Harlan County mountain man. I've ever met in my well, life. Thank you, you, buddy. you are. If somebody on the other side of the world wanted me to show them a Harlan County gentleman, I'd show them J.D. Napier. Uh, <laughs> well, now I appreciate that. I sure do. I still remember sitting on the porch here last year and you telling us your ginseng stories of ginseng and <laughs> oh, that stuff. You yeah, just, uh, yeah. Uh, Man, I've dug a lot of big ginseng. Yeah. yeah. Anybody could listen to you. Uh, a lifetime and we've had people comment and talk about the wisdom that they could learn listening to you uh how about that <laughs> <laughs> well we love you jd we're not going to tar, tar you out and worry you out we'll come back when you're feeling better and uh, let you tell some more stories all day oh, long we'll do that buddy i've got gobs of a bunch of them. <laughs> we love to hear them and, yeah. Yeah, and i know everybody too. is going to want to update on your health so yeah. we'll, we'll be talking some more about you and we'll come back and see you uh here really soon because uh, uh it, it's wonderful knowing you I, you know, you don't get a chance often to tell people how important they are to you. Right. Uh, uh, meeting you and, and getting to know you and listening to your wisdom is one of the high points of my life. And well, I appreciate you God so much. That. God bless you. Yeah. yeah, thank God for that. We love yeah. you, J.D. Yeah, we love you all, too. Well, we love you, J.D. <laughs> now, you tell me when you get ready to say goodbye, and I'll join. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you okay. I'll tell you okay, what. Okay, J.D. Hey. What do we say? You want to join us and say it? Yeah, just say hi when we <laughs> do. JD knows. He's done he it does. twice before. He knows. He's yeah. no pro. Oh, I don't <laughs> yeah, think that. He <laughs> don't need a microphone here. Okay. Uh, what do we say, sweetheart, at the end of these videos? Bye. What do we say, JD? Bye. <laughs> God bless you, folks. Yeah. Thanks for watching, and God bless JD Napier. And thank the Lord for his friendship in our lives.